Hey everyone, today we're gonna to try and understand what DPI is when you're saving your images. It's just one setting that seems really, really important and critical, but let's find out more about it and if that's really true. So have you ever tried to Google DPI and find out more about it and how it compares to PPI and whatever it is talking about, and then ended up on a page with mathematical formulas and then just said, forget this whole thing, whatever. I did the same thing, so that's why I wanted to make this video to just bring a relevant information package to enthusiast photographers of just what they need and leave the math to the scientists. So let's just talk about your camera first. Every camera has a pixel resolution, a maximum one, and every body is different. What they don't have is a DPI and PPI setting. Why? Because it doesn't matter. All that matters with an image is your pixel resolution. That equals quality and size. So why save this setting at all and why does it matter? Let's, let's dive right into that. The quickest, easiest answer is just save your images at 300 dpi. And the reason is silly. Printers. Because 300 dpi is not an image setting that matters for monitors or, or web. DPI is very relevant to printers because they want to make sure that your image is large enough to print. And 300 dpi just happens to be a very common dot per inch size that printers need for your photography. So why not automatically by default, start saving your high-res images at 300 dpi and just save yourself a whole headache. Let's admit that as technology changes, sometimes we don't do a great job of communicating most, the most relevant up-to-date information, and dpi is just one of those things. Images do not have dots, yet everybody says dpi, yet every software uses ppi, but then why does your printer ask for dpi? So we're talking about the same thing. Don't worry about the mathematical calculations. Let's just all agree that we're talking about the same thing and we will get to the right point, at least for enthusiast photography. Let's take a closer look at PPI. Here's an image of a printer that I recently visited, appropriate given the occasion. And I've saved this image with a resolution of 300 and then 72 without changing anything else. Here's those two files named 72 and 300. And as you switch back and forth, notice that there's no change in the overall size of the image. We're viewing at 25%. Let's zoom in and see if we see anything more different. Still no change. At 300%, our image is exactly the same. Let's take a look at where these differ. If I go to image size and I look at the inches, 72 dpi produces 75 inches wide and 300 produces an 18 inch image so here we can see where the pixels per inch is starting to affect our image not the quality but how it's interpreted in inches to a printer when looking at overall size let's see what that looks like visually i've gone ahead and made a one inch square on both images inches being the factor that changes here. And you could see how the square is changing as there's more information per inch in a 300 DPI image or PPI image, even though the overall pixels is no different. So we're just looking at a ratio, not the quality of the image. Since you know your image is high resolution, the printer just needs to know. One more thing to note is that if your printer sees something less than 300 or something that says 72 dpi, immediately it's going to set off red flags and warning signs all over their software because they're checking for it. That's their way of knowing if something is high res. Unfortunately, they're not checking the pixel resolution, which is the most important part. So let's just give them what they need. The flip side of this conversation is saving for web. Why do people say save 72 dpi for web and screen? When it doesn't matter, you know it doesn't matter. That said, I still recommend setting your web images at 72 dpi for one reason, so that you know they're the web images. As soon as I see 72 dpi in my Explorer or Bridge or Photoshop, my brain immediately says, this is my low res image. So you gotta remember to save those images at a lower pixel resolution. So when you start seeing 372 dpi all over your computer and files you're sending in and out, it's a good way to stay organized of what's going to the printer and what's going to web and never confusing the two. So that's it guys. I hope I clear that up a little bit. There's so much more math and data behind it, but let's just keep it simple. Let's just get where we need to go 
and we'll grow into the more professional settings later on. If you enjoyed this and learned something, please hit like and subscribe. Visit demonetphotography.com or my Instagram for even more info. Bye for now.